guys uh, today uh, I'm just gonna introduce you uh, to the uh, engine uh, this is a car engine uh, this engine uh, applies to uh, just the mechanism above the engine works applies to all of the other cars but for this uh, for my case I'm just gonna use uh, is a Mercedes engine to just uh, introduce uh, many people uh, maybe uh, for beginners uh, to introduce them to the various parts of an engine and how it works so guys just hang up uh, hang with me uh, as I'm going to introduce you some things I hope you learn one thing today and I hope that thing is going to help you out if you want maybe do some changes to your engine some uh, repairs and stuff at least you know what you what you're working on so guys I'm just going to take you through the basics uh, so uh, my engine this is the front part of the engine and then uh, this is the engine from the top this is the top of the engine and then uh, guys this is, the, this is the rear side of the engine so uh, I'm just going to start from the top uh, guys I'm gonna start uh, from this uh, this right here guys uh, this is the intake manifold this is where the air uh, which gets into the car is uh, supplied to the engine and the hair normally comes, uh, goes through here. It goes through the air intake. Then just uh, air gets through here, and then gets inside here, and then from inside here, it's distributed inside the engine. And then uh, that's the basic part. And then the other thing which gets into the engine too, when the air gets in there, guys, is uh, is the fuel. We have our fuel rail here, and then we have the injectors. There's an injector there. There's an in injector there. And there's an injector here. This is a, is, is a six cylinder because of the uh, one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. Uh, guys, the number of coils which your car has tells you the number of cylinders which the car has. So, for my case, guys, uh, so once you see here, they're going to be three injectors on this side. Is one injector right here, second on the third one. And then the rail goes through here, supplies the same power too. To this other side is one injector there second injector and then the third right there all right guys let me just point out for the beginners guys also another thing uh is something called a wiring harness the wiring harness guys is is this wire which goes across the car supplying power supplying communication from the valves and the solenoids all this one this is what's called the wiring harness for the car the wiring harness goes all the way all the way and the wiring harness too goes back to the transmission because the transmission is back here right guys the transmission guys is attached to this the engine from behind so that's where it's gonna be so from there guys uh, I'll go to uh, this guy right here is called uh, this is the uh, auxiliary air pump the auxiliary air pump uh, his main function, let me take it out of the way. His main function is to uh, supply air to the exhaust system right here. When you just start your car, like when you, you start cranking your car, uh, this bad boy here will start running. It will start supplying uh, air. And then so that it balances the air which is uh, in, the, in, in the exhaust system, in the catalytic converter. In that part so that's its uh, important part which is does so normally it goes it goes through these uh, small hoses right from here into the exhaust system from down here so that's part of the uh, uh, intake guys okay so let's go to the other part guys let's come to the uh, to the uh, uh, cylinder head so this is the cylinder head right here and then where you see the exhaust right here is the cylinder head so we go to the coils uh, so we go to the coils so this is the coil guys for the car and then beneath it we have the uh, spark plug so I'm gonna remove this guy right here so that guys you can see inside there guys you can see that uh, we have uh, we have our spark plug in there that's what it's supposed this is what normal people do uh, they, they do uh, during the tune-up so that too guys that's what uh, you need normally to learn how to change uh, your spark plug and the, and the coils uh, the given required time by as per the car manufacturer and the stuff 
so guys that's where the stuff goes in so the air goes in there the injection comes in the coils will start will send signal and then there's ignition inside the cylinder and then once that guys is done we have our exhaust exhaust right here so this is where the the air which is already burned inside the engine is comes out it comes out with the exhaust and then goes out to the uh, down the exhaust system and then below it guys we have a, a we have a, a engine mount so the engine mount guys is the one which uh, is supposed to, uh, which the engine rests on when it's resting on the on the body of the car and then it just helps to reduce uh, the vibration of the engine so that you don't feel it when you're driving your car so normally when your engine is engine mount is bad the vibration uh, you can feel your engine shaking a lot from inside the car so guys from there let's go to this uh, bad boy right here this is the oil filter this is the oil filter this is the whole housing for the oil filter this is the oil filter housing so uh, guys normally this is where uh, there is a coolant which goes here to cool the oil and then there's a filter which filters the oil from here and then from there guys let's come to the front part of the engine we have something here called a thermostat thermostat this is the point of entry where the coolant comes out from the engine the hot coolant it comes from here it goes to the radiator and then it gets cooled down and then after getting cooled down guys it goes back to the engine through this hose here this water pump so the water pump its work is to just pump the water back into the engine so that it cools the engine when the water inside the engine gets uh, the cooler inside the engine gets hot it just comes out from the thermostat so the thermostat regulates the temperature of the engine it sees that the temperature is too hot it just lets it out and then this guy lets the, the other ones in so the process is continuous so right here guys we have our alternator our alternator is a, is, is a is the power source which uh, which supplies power uh, to the uh, battery so once the car is running uh, the alternator kicks in and supplies power to the battery and then down here guys we have uh, we have our starter the starter uh, is the one which is supposed to, uh, to start the car and then we have the wiring harness right here which is supposed to go to the battery and then from the battery it just powers the starter so once it powers the starter guys the starter comes here and then and then it starts like spinning this uh this plate here uh once it spins this plate guys this is uh, called a flywheel so the flywheel will start moving all around once it moves around and then the engine will start running and then the flywheel uh, is connected to a uh, it's called a harmonic balancer or it's called the crankshaft a crankshaft pulley the crankshaft is the one which goes all the way to the uh, flywheel behind there and then once the flywheel uh, the, the, the the crankshaft runs and then guys what happens is uh, <clears throat> once this uh, runs it starts running all this other uh it starts running all this other uh, the pulleys it starts running the alternate or uh, alternator start running the the, the 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 water pump this pulley just helps in the running out of the uh, of the belt and this is a bell, a bell tensioner this is bell tensioner this is the one which is responsible uh to tighten the bell so that it just sits on all these pulleys tightly so it doesn't uh it doesn't have a problem like like loosening up or stuff like that so this plays a very important role and then from there we have our AC the AC is just the system we we'll just uh, see like from this hose right here this AC goes to the uh, or to the to the radiator and then this one goes to the car it's right from here what comes from our AC is the AC pump so the work of the AC pump guys is uh, to give you cold air in the car so when it runs and then spins up it just build pressure and then produces a cold air through the form of freon so we come to this boy right here guys 
this boy right here is called a uh, power steering uh, reservoir and then down here this is the pump so the pump is connected together when you see from behind here the pump is connected uh, with the reservoir so this is why you put your power steering fluid and then the fluid uh, the pump just pumps it up because it's hydraulic this helps you uh, turn your wheels with just as little energy as possible so guys here we have the uh, camshaft solenoids solenoids responsible this good this is uh for controlling of the turning of the solenoids just here in the uh in the camshafts same applies to this place guys okay another thing guys we have uh our oil dipstick so this one just goes all the way to the uh, to the oil pan so down here guys is the oil pump is where all oil is gonna be uh, resting so when the car starts it's pumped all the way up and then just lubricates everything that happens up in the car so guys so from there guys uh, I think those are like the basic stuff in the car and then right here this is where uh, we put our oil in the car we just put the oil inside the car and once it's done you just cover it up so uh so those guys are the basic ones for those who just uh, getting introduced to cars and then guys uh, the last part maybe is here uh the flywheel is connects itself directly to the uh to the transmission so your transmission comes and sits here so that when the car starts up your tow converter is going to be here it's gonna be connected there and then from there your car can start up so guys uh, those are the basics uh, of a car engine I hope this video really helps somebody as they do their repairs or they start getting to learn about the car and how a car operates I hope really that helps you out and uh, until next time if you have questions guys you can leave uh, on the comment section and then I can answer more from there and then we can learn together also and help another person get to understand the car better and uh, to maintain their cars and put it in the right shape okay till next time drive safe <laughs>